appreciate it. And I want to thank you for coming tonight to the Tupperware party. And we're going to have a lot of fun. And maybe you'll hear things that you already know. And maybe you'll hear some new things. So hopefully we have you um, can share with you some things that you don't know. Or maybe just some intriguing things that you'll see that we did make. And, and we're going to try to do a bunch of things in just 30 to 45 minutes. So it's going to be fun, fun, fun. Now I want to thank Nikki Schlegel who's here tonight because she is my um, audio and technical advisor. And I also want to thank my assistant tonight who is my hostess with the mostest. And that's Allison Hoffman. Come on over Allison because you're going to be doing a whole bunch of work in one second because I have to hold this in order to talk. Is this exciting? Okay. And Allison has been in Tupperware how long? Um, two years, I think. And um, why did you start selling Tupperware? Because I owned a lot of it and I wanted to start selling it. Great. Okay. Well, I want to share with you, if you're a consultant on tonight, that you can, t I'm going to video, I mean, record this. So you could actually share this and maybe post this to your um, Facebook hostesses pages if you'd want to, to show some of the different t um, cooking methods that Tupperware has. I do apologize because we're having a whole bunch of stuff going on here. And at a normal Tupperware party, you wouldn't be making all these different recipes, but we want to share with you some different products that we cook in. So what we're going to do is we're going to start making a few things to begin with. So we're, we're done in time. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to be making a, um, a cake in the microwave. Um, we're going to be, uh, let me share with you what we're trying to make tonight. We're making a pot roast with potatoes and carrots and onion, and it's going to be delicious. It's actually done, and it's this, the, um, we made it in the pressure cooker. We also made some um, boiled eggs, so uh, we're going to be sharing that with you in the smart steamer. We're making a three-tier stack cooking um, recipe, which we got out of the recipes online um, in at the Tupperware website, and we're also making a we're making a <laughs> German chocolate sugar-free cake. Okay, so this should be very interesting. So we're going to first of all go ahead and we're going to finish the chicken off. And what we're doing is we've already um, Allison's going to share with you and show you the chicken. If you could just like tilt it, Allison, can can they see it or you need to get closer? Nikki's going to take it. What we did is we breaded chicken. We have chicken cutlets. Um, we actually have five, and they were really thick pieces of chicken. So, and what you want to do is when you're doing chicken, just so you know this, because it doesn't tell you this in the Tupperware recipes, if there's a thicker part to the chicken, like where it folds, because we folded these in half, you always want to have the fold where it folds, where the creases, kind of where it folds, it should be on the outside of the container because that's where the rays of the microwave hit it the hardest. If you turn it so the skinny in, ends are near the edge or the outside edge of the container, you're going to have some dried out chicken. So we always want to have it that way. Now what we're going to do is we have, this is the middle part of the stack cooker and the stack cooker of course is amazing and um, some of your hostesses could be getting it at a really deep discount next month and also they will be able to also take advantage of it might, be, it might be on sale next month. But we also have in the top layer some peas. And then we're going to be making um, red potatoes in the bottom part, which is the biggest part of the stack cooker, which is the base. And <laughs> Allison's getting that for me. Okay. And we have that for the, the deep part. And of course, the stack cooker comes with many pieces, and we'll be talking about that once this is cooking. Um, but we're going to be taking and putting these potatoes that are cut up over here, and um, they're we have um, the red potatoes, and we're just going to take the slices, Allison, and can, she, can you see her, Dickie? Can, she, can you see Allison? Okay, she's going to stick those in there. And she did wash her hands ahead of time, and we're making pesto. And I've never made pesto in my life, but we're making pesto tonight to coat these. And what we have is we have our little chopper, and in the little chopper, we have a cup of spinach. We have a, um, a t half of a teaspoon of lemon juice, thank you. We have a tablespoon of nuts. It says pine nuts, or you can use walnuts, and um, a little bit of salt is in there too, I think. So um, we're going to go ahead and spin that, you know, you go ahead and chop it up there. Allison, she's going to chop it all up. I don't know if they can see that there, but they're used to that too. But we might have some customers online too. Um, right now, the thing that you want to do is if you're a customer, you want to take advantage of the special deal that Tupperware has in the big catalog, because you can get our small little chopper, and you can get our Tupperware Power Chef, which takes that same engine that Allison, is it done, Allison? 
Oh, that's good. I say it should be done. <laughs> uh, we take our Power Chef, so you get both pieces right now for just ten dollars more. Our Power Chef sells for sixty nine dollars, and for seventy nine you get the Power Chef and the small little chopper. You do only get one engine because you only need one. So we could open that up, and we're going to toss that in there. Um, take the blade out, of course, and we're going to dump that in there. And we're going to put a little bit of olive oil in there too. I'm adding a little something myself in here. I think we're adding some olive oil, so I don't know why. I just like things greasy. <laughs> At least it's olive oil, right? Okay, here we go. We're just going to add a little bit of olive oil, and then we're going to coat those, and you could even use a little bit of the Tupperware seasoning if you want to. We're just going to put a little bit of olive oil in there, just a dab of olive oil. There we go, and then we'll just mix them all up there, Allison, and we're going to stack this together, and we're going to be putting this in the microwave. It should be between 20 and 25 minutes, depending upon your microwave. The recipes say, um, yeah, we can just toss them. Or you're just being too nice, Allison. <laughs> just mix them up there. <laughs> we're just going to mix them up and coat them with that stuff. Oh, those look good, okay? And then we're going to, I like pepper too. You know, everybody puts different things. This is, of course, an old Tupperware pepper shaker. Got to put a little pepper on it. Okay, <laughs> okay, now um, we're going to stack this all together. We have our chicken, our peas, and our potatoes. And, of course, we're going to have a salad, and we're going to have rolls. And, of course, we're having our chocolate cake in a little bit. We're going to put this in the microwave for 25 minutes on high and we're gonna we are gonna cover um we're gonna cover the top part you got it push about there there we go okay she's putting it in the microwave <laughs> she she's and we're gonna take the top i'm I wish Tupperware had up this all the time. When it comes out, once in a while it comes out, wait a second, Allison, we have a Tupperware plate cover. I love this plate cover. But when you're stack cooking, you do need to use some wax paper, or microwave wax paper or something, because you don't have something covering that top layer of your stack cooker. So you just kind of put that on top of there, Allison. That'd be great. Okay, so we have that going on. Now what we're going to do, and um, um, I want to, we're going to mention some of the different pieces of Tupperware. If you ever do a cooking class at your, uh, at a Tupperware party, you want to make one recipe maybe or two recipes, but you got to, you have to have the time to make everything. So it takes a little bit of time. So this um, session is going to be teaching you about all the different microwave pieces. Okay, now what we're going to do <laughs> is we're going to be making um, our apple cake. And what we're going to do is Allison is going to, oh, no, we're not making apple. I changed my mind, didn't I? I know I did. Oh, goodness. We're making a German chocolate cake that's sugar-free, kind of sugar-free. The frosting's not sugar-free. But we're taking coconut pecan frosting, and we're going to be also using the bottom layer of the stack cooker, which is the piece that we just did the potatoes in. And we'll talk about the whole system once we get everything done. And Allison is going to frost the inside of the um, stack cooker. And I'll get you a spatula because we have wonderful spatulas in Tupperware and they have a lifetime warranty and they are they're awesome. So you can frost the inside and you're also going to frost this cone. Now, what's neat, if you're on Facebook, some of you could take pictures. The, I, I don't think your friends will mind you. Maybe they will mind you still in their pictures. But some of our consultants have been making all kinds of cakes in the stack cooking system. And if you're a guest on to, today or you're listening later on to this recording, I want to share with you, you can get the stack cooking system completely free when you have a when you become a consultant. Um, many of our consultants did. Now we're actually going to be putting, you're going to frost this on the outside of this. I should have shared it with you. You're going to take that, yeah, take that out of there <laughs> you're gonna, and you're going to frost the whole sides and everything. Isn't that exciting? <laughs> okay. okay, it works for you. We're sticking the cone inside the center and she's frosting the inside. She'll show you when she's done. Um, but what's neat about it is all the different pieces, the big pieces we're showing you when you're a Tupperware consultant, you get to choose one of these free when you hit a certain level. Nikki, do you know what level? 2,500 in sales and you pick one of these. Oh my gosh, that's exciting. So you get to choose one of these. I personally would recommend, if, if I was a consultant or when you become a consultant, I would recommend you do get the stack cooker as soon as you can. And uh, because I think it's something you could do at your parties is cook. Um, and I it's probably the most versatile piece of all the three main pieces we're showing tonight. And I'll tell you why in a little bit. I'm telling you why about it, a lot of things in a little bit. But um, so we're doing that. Now, in the meantime, we're going to go ahead. 
and we're going to mix the cake up in the power chef. And I'm going to try to hold this. Maybe Nikki could, Nikki, do you mind coming over and being an assistant too? I got two assistants here. Nikki, she's taking her coat off now. <laughs> this is like work. Okay. Um, the power chef is really cool because it has measurements on the side and then we're going to take the cover off and it also has really sharp blades. So you could actually chop your um, fruit in here, then add your smoothie mix, mix, mix and then, you know, mix everything up with your smoothies. You could chop with the blades that go in here because it comes with real sharp blades. The blades in here, chop your veggies, add your eggs and make your omelets. You can do your pancake batter in here. You can do your... Um, just everything. You can do your whipped topping in here. You can do meringue in here. You, we're going to mix a whole cake in here. So the recipe says calls for one, um, one, three tablespoons of water. Wow, this doesn't take much water. Okay, so this isn't like a regular cake. Okay, so we're going to actually add three tablespoons of water to that. Um, it, but normally you add a cup and you can actually use the measurements on the side of the container because you could just put the cup of water right in. And then going to be, I think we got the other eggs out somewhere. Here they are right here. And then we're going to be adding the eggs to that. So Nikki's going to be putting the eggs in. And how many eggs do we put in, Nikki? One egg and a third of cup oil. Okay, so we're putting a third cup oil in. And let's see here. Oopsie, poopsie. Oh, I'm sure that sounded really good in my... um. Well, I could have said a bad word, but I didn't. Okay, I don't say bad words. Okay, I only say them to Allison. No, I'm cheesy. <laughs> okay, so we're going to do a third cup oil and just see here a second here. We're going to use this measuring cup here. These are all Tupperware pieces I'm using. So she's got that going on. And Allison has the, um, the German chocolate frosting in the cake. Let's see this here. I'm just going to put this down and show you. It's kind of interesting, um, but kind of like bring it up on the sides because it's going to get mixture in there. And sugar free cake, I want to mention, you can use, use sugar free cake. And we're doing the regular cake recipe, so it's not we're doing anything special. And um, yeah, we just need the top part. In there. And um, so we're just going to do this. And the reason you put the frosting all around it so when it comes out, it doesn't stick. So, yeah, okay. Uh, exactly. So we're going to be throwing that in there. And while they're doing that, they're making the cake here. I'm going to actually show you a couple of the different things that we did. We made the um, eggs. I'm going to talk about a few of the pieces. I forgot to pick up the microphone. Sorry about that. Um, we're going to talk about a few of the pieces, but before we do that, I did want to mention what's really neat too about coming into Tupperware right now is the fact that uh, you can actually get our $35 can opener for $35, or you can get almost $400 in merchandise for the same $35, and the can opener is in that. So it's really, so it really is a great deal to come into Tupperware right now and kind of see how it is. How's it going? Is it on? Looks good. Okay. Really, you'd think they'd put more water in it, don't wouldn't you? Yeah, it's, it's really thick. Oh, it's really thick. It's really, it's, I know. It. That doesn't make sense. Let me read this again. Three tablespoons of water. It's not bad. Okay. Well, we're going to do it. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're just going to use it. Just, it it's good, Nikki. You, you, did, you did okay. You did all right. You did okay. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the cake in there. Don't worry about that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to, I'm just wondering because this is, cake isn't going to be as big if we should use quite as much frosting. What do you guys think? You think you should use, use all the frosting? Okay. All right. So we're just going to pull this out. Uh-uh. That is too thick. Here's some, oh, as I was gonna say, that is too thick. Yeah, the, the bottom sheet. I'll let you finish it. I'll let you go over there with your herb. And you're just going to pour that around it. See that? It looks to me like there's as much. Um, this should be really interesting, you guys. But you know what? This is why you always make things at home before you ever make them at a Tupperware party. Okay. So what we're going to talk about, I was talking about, was when you come into Tupperware, how the can opener is only $35 and it's an investment. Every piece of Tupperware is an investment because you're getting something that's going to save you time. It's going to save you money. It's going to maybe save you space, and it's going to save you waste. So, um, yeah. I did not. 
<laughs> okay. We're going to see what happens. Should we? We're having, <laughs> we, did you hear what they said? This is, we're having fun. If you would like to be here, I bet. Um, what I did is I used the brownie mix, because brownie mix is, we're going to have coconut pecan brownies. This should be interesting. We're making our own recipe. It does. Well, I'm glad you noticed that because those will take a lot less time to make. <laughs> so we're going to, we're going to do, this should be interesting. We might have created our own new recipe. I honestly would have used half of that coconut pecan frosting, but we'll go from there. Okay, now we're going to continue on. And I did want to mention too, when you're a hostess, hopefully you're thinking about having a Tupperware get together. You get a really nice gift for a really nice gift for having your Tupperware party. Um, so you'll notice we have some really neat exclusive items. And one of the new ones in our next catalog is actually these wonderful freezer containers. And these are neat because like tonight we're making, we made beef roast. And who says you can't put beef roast in a container like this? And so it's really important too that the, um, you know, you could cut up the pieces, the sizes you're going to actually cook them in and put them in the containers. So they're really super nice. The other thing too is anytime you buy meat with plastic on it, you want to get it out of that plastic as soon as you can. Now you've heard before, I'm sure about water bottles, you know, the, the BPA thing, thank goodness Tupperware's products are all BPA free. But if you think about that plastic that is on your meats, that is not BPA free. <laughs> and so that means when you change the temperature and you freeze in it, then when you freeze in it, you actually then have, um, you know, those chemicals going into your food. So I did want to mention that. Now, first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and share with you some of the Tupperware products. So I'm going to demonstrate these. So if you gals want to take any notes, you're welcome to too. But we have three main cookers in Tupperware that are made just for the microwave. And the one item that we're going to talk about, first of all, is the Tupperware Smart Steamer, which is this piece right here. And um, I'm going to have, uh, Allison, I'm going to have you, do you mind? Them? This this item it has a cover, it has a tray that fits inside the top part, which I don't have in here because we didn't use it right now. And what's nice about it is then it has a deep well. This is the deep well. And then this whole thing is, made, is encapsulized by plastic, but it's metal. It's all metal. So when the microwaves come in to the microwave, they do not go through this container at all because I just did 12 eggs in here in 12 minutes, and I guarantee you if the rays came through these, this container, they would have all, like, blew up. They would have, but they didn't. So I'm going to put that back down there a second. But underneath there is the water. I don't want to get burnt here. I'll just go ahead and let you dump that water out. So it has a little tray that you fill up, and um, – so it's great. The, the nice thing about this is some people, they don't like microwaves. They're like, I don't want to use microwaves. Well, the smart steamer is great because nothing hits the food. So it never, I've never had a dry thing in the smart steamer. You can put your veggies in here. Um, you can do your fajitas in here. Do your chop up, you know, slice with our Tupperware mandolin, your peppers and your onions and all your great things and stick them in here. Put some seasoning in there and have it ready for your fajitas. You can also do your veggies in here, just steaming vegetables, meat. I've already did beef roast in here where you actually just put the beef roast in here. I couldn't believe how tender it was when it came out. You can do chicken in here, fish in here, and you can even do sliders in here and you can take um, the tr big tray and then what you do is you just make a big hamburger patty and you use a um, two teaspoons of our Tupperware Southwest Chipotle, mix that seasoning in that pound or pound and a quarter of ground beef, and then add some chopped onions that you might have chopped in the chop and prep, which was what we made the pesto in. Pesto, is that how you say it? Okay, pesto, you can tell I'm a real chef. I would have just bought some pesto. Anyways, now I know how to make it, and I didn't realize how easy it was. Look how much money I saved, right? And it is really delicious. Um, so you could mix your ground beef together, pat out a big hamburger patty, just pat it right out on those holes, because this, this piece has holes in it, of course, so the steam can, the water, the steam can gum up, the, the steam can steam it. And then you um, just go ahead and it's in the microwave 10 minutes, just 10 minutes, 10 minutes, and that hamburger patty is all done, and you tip it out on a cutting board, and you cut it in like a tic-tac-toe board, and you could put cheese on it if you want to melt cheese on them. You can put, um, make a really nice um, dip 
kind of dip, but a spread with some mayonnaise, mayo, and some Southwest Chipotle. Mix that together. That makes a great dip. And then what you can also do is take the Hawaiian rolls. I'm just grabbing those on top of that bread box here. You can buy these little Hawaiian rolls, which these are the best things to buy. <laughs> these little King's Hawaiian rolls. And you take those nine little squares and you, you cut these rolls in half and you have nine sliders. And they're so good. You can really, what was that? You like that? And my husband thinks he's eating. You can also do like your meatloaf like that. So if you want to do a meatloaf, who says a round meatloaf isn't okay? But I've actually made meatloafs like the size of my fist. I can make about six or eight meatloafs in here and it's great. And then I can freeze them. I am into cooking once and having two meals for every time I cook. And I actually do it all in the microwave. The other thing is chicken breast. I normally, what I normally do is I take and fill, I buy those big packages of chicken breast because I believe in saving money and I want to help you save money. Um, and the best time to go to the grocery store, if you're free in this, at this time of the day, which if you're a Tupperware director or a Tupperware manager, you would be free because you wouldn't have another job. You'll be making so much money and driving a free vehicle. But I can get a whole package, a big package of chicken breasts in here, and I will cook them, put that cover on there, and I will put them in there for about 14 minutes on high, 14 to 16 minutes, and all those chicken breasts are all cooked. So I'll have them for dinner that night. I might put seasoning on them so they're all seasoned with Italian seasoning, or you could even do like you know, we could have we put the breading on like we did today. But then what's nice is I can take and eat the chicken that we need for tonight and then take the rest of the chicken that I cooked and freeze it in a Tupperware container. I might actually just take, go ahead and freeze it in one of the Tupperware vent and serves. So I might have three or four chicken breasts in here. And then when I want to have chicken breasts next week, I can just pull this out of the freezer because this is made for the microwave. It's our vent and serve which is another option when you're a new consultant that you can get some of this free now, which is exciting. 1800, 1500. She knows all these levels. I love it. And this is the piece. This piece is great because then you just open the little vent and put it right in the microwave. These are all non-staining. So when you buy Tupperware, it always looks nice when you buy the microwave items that are non-staining. So, um, so this is great. The other thing, this piece, this is called the long shallow. This, um, it's the shallow, okay, the large shallow is what it's called, um, but this is also nice to make brownies in, <laughs> we could have made the brownies in this, and you always make brownies with no cover on them, so when you put the brownies in, no cover ever on brownies or normally on any cake, once in a while there's a cake you put the cover on, the, the soda cake, or the, if you're from Ohio, the pop cake we make, you do put a cover on, but What's nice, this is great for brownies, six and a half minutes in the microwave, no cover on, and they come out absolutely awesome. Nice and crunchy on the outside, soft and gooey on the inside, and um, so you can do lots of great things with this. So the Smart Steamer is amazing. Um, I truly love it, and again, another thing you can do is ground beef. If you want to do a big package of ground beef in there, you can just crumble up your ground beef in here, put it in there for about 10 minutes on high, then take it out. I crumble it, you'll, you want to crumble it up because it might be stuck together. Um, you can crumble it up and then you can um, finish cooking it for another five minutes. The other thing is if you have it and it's all cooked in big gunks and you forgot to check it out, has that ever happened? What you can do is take our Tupperware um, Quick Chef, and I'm showing you the one from my kitchen right now, but of course you have the, the blue one, which is, I like the blue one, and you can put your ground beef in here and turn this. Anytime you're making an Italian dish, what's great is if you ever go to a, not Italian, excuse me, to a Mexican restaurant, you'll notice their ground beef is really fine. So this, the Quick Chef Pro is awesome for um, your ground beef, making it nice and fine. So that is the smart steamer. And so this is really a real steamer. I tell people this is the real steamer, awesome container. Another thing that we have is we have our, um, yeah, we have our pressure cooker. And our pressure cooker is completely awesome too. And, and I'm going to have Allison show this to you because I'm trying to do it on it. My, it's interesting. Anyways, so inside this, Allison doesn't have one, so this will be interesting. You have to turn, turn the top, Allison. So it turns, and this has to come, is this up? This comes up, and this actually comes right off of here, just so you know this. Yeah, it does. Sure it does. 
it, it comes off anyways. It comes off. Don't think, oh, I broke it. it. It does come off. And so all this stuff goes in the dishwasher too, which is really exciting. And inside here, the pressure cooker is really amazing because it pressurizes just like your grandma's did or your mom's did or, or your great grandmother's did years ago. But people were scared to death of them pressure cookers. I remember my mom saying, I'm pressure cooking my um, can't she would she was can, she canned and she'd pressure cook the, the, the jars and stuff and it's like don't get near that and you'd hear this noise and it's like scary <laughs> so what's neat about this is you you could, it's almost like you're doing slow cooking except you're not having your whole house heat up all day from slow cooking and the food actually tastes it's te the meat is more tender and there's a line in here so you'll see lots of recipes online and I did want to mention I learned something new today. I was sharing this with Nikki. Um, is you know, our, if you're a customer or a, a consultant or a director or a manager, um, what's really neat is if you go to um, your consultant's website, which that's where you want to go after you watch this video. So you might want to place an order for some of these amazing products, or go to that website and pick out some items you want for free for your Tupperware party. Um, when you go to it, you'll see a link on the left that says recipes. And when you click on recipes, it can be a little overwhelming. It's like, okay, what? I, I see like four, six, eight, ten recipes, but this is not what I'm looking for. What's really neat is if you have the pressure cooker, at the very, very, very bottom of that page, it tells you all the different pieces of Tupperware that are mentioned in a recipe. So if you click on pressure cooker at the very, very bottom of that recipe page, you can click on pressure cooker and all the recipes for the pressure cooker are going to pop up. So it's great for that. But there is a fill line. So when you put your food in here, you want to make sure you... Um, you know, you go up to the fill line. One of our family's favorite recipes that's super duper easy is the cheeseburger pasta. And cheeseburger pasta, all you do is you put a pound, a half a pound of ground beef in here. It's like a hamburger. A half a pound of ground beef. You put a, about a teaspoon and a half of mustard, about two tablespoons of ketchup, about um, a quarter cup of onions, because those are on your cheeseburger. You put in here, um, and you put about one and a half cups of macaroni and then you pour beef broth over top of it so everything's covered with beef broth and this recipe is on the is also on that that um, list and then you cover it and then what you do is the way you seal this is it has three different locks so that it will not blow up three safety features one is this gasket that's inside the cover and this goes right in my dishwasher it's just a gasket but you want to make sure it's in there and it just fits inside here and then um, and another safety feature is when she puts it on, she's going to put it on the container, and then she's going to turn it when she gets it on. And when she turns it, it locks, okay? And then this handle fits on, and when the handle fits on, am I on the right end here? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Hold on a second. I can't get the microphone here. And then, and then what you do is this goes on and then you just push this down. There's a little hole here and it locks down into the handle. I don't know if you can see that, how that goes down. The handle goes down. So that's another safety feature. And then a third safety feature is there is a vent on the top and there's a little yellow dot. And that little yellow dot, when it is cooking, once after about 15 minutes, this thing will lift up and about 15 to 20 minutes, you'll hear it whistling. And normally, not, it doesn't go in longer than 30 minutes. Same way with the, press, the um, smart steamer, never more than 30 minutes. And if you're reusing it, it needs to completely cool down, completely. Um, same way with the pressure cooker. And, um, of course, these come with recipe books and information, too. But what happens is this little, this little vent or little indicator, never open it until the indicator is all the way down. Okay, so this is the pressure cooker, but you can take your any slow cooker recipe and put it in here. The one thing is, though, with pasta, it actually tells you in the recipe book not to use pasta. Uh, although Tupperware has recipes that has, they have pasta in them. So one thing you want to watch is never use more pasta than our Tupperware recipe tells you to. And I think it's like a cup of pasta because the pasta gets so much bigger. And if you put a lot of pasta in there, it's going to go great. We get big. Couple tips. One is, <laughs> I love seasoning. Because of the pressurization of this, it cooks, the meat is so tender and everything. But when it cooks, you're, it enhances 
your spices. So if you put too many spices in, it could become too spicy. Um, the other thing is back to macaroni. When you're doing any kind of pasta, it has to be heavy duty. It needs to be like rigatoni, macaroni. Actually, spaghetti is too limpy that the pressure would make it mushy. So, but it is amazing. It will save you so much time. I mean, I made this meal, and I'm not kidding. This meal you're going to see in a second. Well, actually, Nikki's going to show you some pictures. She's going to share the screen, and she's going to show you some pictures of what this looked like before we started, okay? She's going to show you in front of the screen. What I could do is I could email it to the, the thing. How's it look? You can see how the, does it show it? Okay, so it shows you what it looks like without the, the I, I did it two times. I did it once before we put the broth in and then once after. And so we made the beef roast and then um, we're just going to sit that right here. Allison, because we're going to show them the, we're still on our pressure cooker. Um, demonstration I'm gonna, I'm gonna have you bring this over here you don't I don't think you need the pot holders at all <laughs> okay um I'm gonna put the brownie in the middle of the one thing that's important too is when you're cooking in your microwave make sure you always put the container in the center of the turning tray because if you don't it actually could um make it it has more of a chance to make it uh lumpy <laughs> or, you know, harder on one end, but normally looks good. Now, now Allison just saw how to um, <laughs> open and shut this. So this just, here, you just hold this here. Okay, all right, so we're just gonna open this up and we're just gonna turn this. We're gonna take this off. Oh yeah. <laughs> How's it look? It looks good. Okay, now I don't know how we're gonna show this, but okay. Nikki's gonna try to show you with that broth. There's a lot of broth and I will be using that broth. I could actually dump some of that broth out. Um, we're gonna be, oh, that's really interesting, Nikki. We're gonna be using that broth for my homemade soup because I'm gonna be taking some of that beef roast out of there. So we have potatoes and carrots and meat and I am gonna go ahead and get a piece of that meat out so you can see it. Um, and Nikki and um, Allison get to eat tonight. Isn't that exciting? <laughs> Get to try everything. Um, so we're going to take, um, and the carrots, the carrots are nice and tender. I'm afraid, so I don't know if you can see that, but um, so we have those, and the potatoes are all cooked. Like, you see how my fork went right in there? And then our meat, let's go to the meat here. The meat is falling apart. <laughs> okay. There we go. Okay. And the onions are all cooked in there. And then do one of you want to just cut into that and just we can just here's this here's this um here we go. And I actually put extra meat in. You can just do all your meat or whatever. If you're doing all meat, then sometimes you do want to put in for like maybe 20 minutes longer. But how does it look? Does it look good? It does. It smells delicious. Okay, that's great. Okay, now I was not, um, so that is our pressure cooker. Okay, now 
our smart steamer, we're going to, as they're doing that, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you a little trick with eggs because we, we did do eggs in the smart steamer and some of you have done this. I know you have, but if you're a Tupperware, um, you're not a Tupperware consultant, you might not have done this before. And can they still see every, my eggs and stuff? No. Okay. That's all right. We'll just back. <laughs> we're going to take these eggs, which are all boiled, and I'm going to put them in this Tupperware um, that's a bowl. And this is the that's a bowl that's on sale right now in the set, but we don't normally sell this size bowl. Um, so we're going to cool these eggs down. They've been out for a little while, but they're not cooled off. But you got to make sure they're completely cooled off. And oh, we never turned the cake on, did we? Or what happened? Did it already cook? Or I never told you how many long to put it in there. Okay, that's okay. Okay, we're going to make brownies, so we're not putting it in as long. We're going to put this in for nine minutes on high. Oh, goodness. We'll see what happens. Okay, <laughs> this is good. Okay, in the meantime, you guys go ahead and start eating that. I should be able to show this because then you can start eating this too. <laughs> okay, maybe I can. We made peas in the top cover. I got to share with you, you're not supposed to make peas, so don't look at these peas too closely. But what we were going to make was broccoli with cheese on top. So you could use your Tupperware shredder. Um, it should be actually more of a hearty kind of vegetable. Another really good thing for the top, because if you have a husband, I will meat and potatoes husband. And so sometimes too, I will actually do sliced potatoes in the top and I will, uh, you know, have the sliced potatoes with some olive oil and Italian seasoning. And then our chicken. Now the chicken, I normally do it in the, um, do the chicken in the, uh, what do you call it? With the colander so you could do the chicken with the colander and if you do the chicken with the colander I actually recommend that because with the colander what happens is the juices go in the bottom and normally a lot of times I make rice in the bottom so the rice and the chicken and but we made it something different because we were trying some different recipes so let's go put this here and then we have potatoes these potatoes look really good here oops here's our potatoes so we can see the potatoes and um so we're going to put that over we can just set that right on the table too um we can dump maybe we can we can drain that juice off later i guess because i think i would if i make this at your if you're gonna make this at a tupperware party or for your house i would definitely do the, i would put the colander in um and we're going to talk about these pieces right now so we'll move that there i think you guys can actually Really, listen and eat. <laughs> Silverware is here. But let me finish up here because the stack cooker is going on sale and I am so excited. And if you're a hostess, I'm going to talk about this right now. Um, if you're a Tupperware hostess, you get items at half price when you have only a $275 Tupperware party. So uh, with the $275 Tupperware party, our stack cooking system sells for $114. So you can get that for just $70. Oh my. I can't think because I'm on camera. Someone's got 60. Okay. What's 114 divided by two? 77. $77. I'm pretty sure it is. It's something like that. Anyways, so you can get it for half price. Um, now, the stack cooker, you've seen pieces of it. And again, there are no pores. So it never, ever stains. It is so versatile. And um, the, the reason I, I like all of them. But if I was going to buy one of them, I would buy the stack cooking system. And with it being on sale, it's going to be on sale at such a, an, un, an unbelievable price. And if you're a Tupperware consultant, um, actually you can get the, a sample of it at such a low price that it's amazing. And you'll want to get a sample for sure because it's something you can show all the time. And if you're a new consultant, then again, when you get to the level to pick one, you can choose something else. The reason I say it's more versatile is because you can do more things with it. And the one thing that you can do with it that you cannot do with the pressure cooker which I love the pressure cooker though, and you can't do it with the um, smart steamer, is you can't store things in it. You can't, I mean, you could actually take the pressure cooker um, or the smart steamer and make things ahead of time um, in the morning and then get home and finish your meal. But the one thing that the, the um, stack cooker does that they do not do is these, this has seals. So these seals fit on all the pieces that, all the, all the different Tupperware pieces. So it fits on the big three quart. So if you want to make homemade chili in it, 
it doesn't stain because there's no pores. So you now can put the seal on the big container or the center piece, and you can put that in your freezer, take it out of your freezer, put the regular Tupperware cover on it, and throw it in your microwave. Um, so it's real versatile in that way. The other thing, too, you can, you can steam in it. You, so you can steam in it because it does have a steamer. However, with this steamer, because it doesn't have the metal on the sides, Rays do go in. And just two of the main tips, these are two really important things. When I'm at a Tupperware party, and I guess I'm at one right now, there's two main things I like to tell everybody. And the first thing I tell people if I'm cooking anything or before I start talking about the microwave is the fact that Tupperware is all BPA free. So we're very, very fortunate. And we just learned um, at our big Tupperware convention that anything that has a spoon and a fork on it or a goblet, I should say a goblet and a fork, um, those items are made that when you purchase them that they can be used over and over again. I actually went and did some research on 17 different items that said microwavable on them at the stores. I went to the Dollar General, I took pictures of these, Dollar General, Target, Wise, you know, just different stores that have microwavable items. And all 17 were approved by the government for one use only. Now, do you think customers think they're for one use only? No, they think that they're, they think that they can, you know, use them over and over again. And then when they start turning colors and they start, you know, you know, changing colors and form, you know, they have chemicals going into their body and they might go, I don't really care. But you know what? You should care because you're important not only to your family, but to also your grandchildren and such. So um, Tupperware is awesome in that capacity. So that's one thing I tell them. The second thing I tell them is there's two thing, two key things that are going to make your food taste better in the microwave. Because most people go, I don't want to cook in the microwave. I can make a cake in the oven. Or you can make a brownie in the oven when you really are making a cake. <laughs> Whatever. Anyways, um, it's smelling really good. <laughs> okay. Um, but the... Um, what is it? The two main things that you want to tell them is, um, number one is the to wake, make it feel good, to make it taste good, yeah, to make it taste good is you shouldn't, you should only reheat things on power level seven. You should never reheat things on anything but seven or six. Six or seven are magic numbers. Um, if you can't remember what number, think of people like at the casino, seven, seven, seven. So it's number seven, 70% power. Because what happens is when you reheat things at 70% power, your food will taste better. It won't taste dried out, especially things like pizza. People will put pizza in the microwave. They heat, and some of you will kind of probably relate to this. I pick out pizza because what the microwave loves is fat sugar and water. So fat and sugar, just like me, fat and sugar, <laughs> it likes me. Um, when it hits that pepperoni and that cheese, it starts sparking and you're like, oh my gosh, my pizza's hot. And then you go over to taste it and it's not, the sauce isn't hot. Or maybe you put it, left it in long enough and then you go to taste it and it tastes like shoe leather because the, after the crust get cools off a little bit, it's like, I'm going to break my teeth on this crust or chewing it, you know, so I guess I don't have to go through all those ways I look. Anyways, but the thing is, if you hit power level seven, the microwave will surge in and out. And so what happens is, let's say, for instance, this was, um, you had mashed potatoes in here with cheese in it. If you hit power level seven, it's their leftovers from Thanksgiving or whatever. The the the, the microwave will go, I hear every once in a while a little bit of a, a difference in um, the speed. It. And what it's doing is it's cooking it thoroughly. So what happens is when you go to taste it, it's all cooked and it's warm. It's not like just part of it's, you know, it's not like you go to the middle of it and it's cold because you cooked it on high and it hit the side. I kind of think if you think about spaghetti sauce, if you put spaghetti sauce on top of the stove and you turn that burner on high, I guarantee you the sides get all burnt and everything real fast and the middle part would eventually get warm. But that's what you're doing to your food. Second thing is always let things set for 25% of the time it was in. So that chicken, you put it in, we shouldn't ever even cut it until it's been out of the microwave because for 20 minutes, for five minutes, because it's still cooking 25% of the time it was in. So I used to, microwave said it's done. I think this is, <laughs> I'm worried about it. It's even boiling. I never saw a brownie boil, but it's boiling because there's so much frosting in there with a brownie. And look at Allison, she's loving it. Um, hopefully, my pan is still together because frosting has a lot of fat and sugar in it, <laughs> anyways. Um, so, 
what I was sharing with you is, what was I shooting? 25% of the time. So I used to go and cut in the chicken and it would be pink and I'd be like, I am not eating this chicken. There is no way I'm eating chicken. And I would put it, you know, back in the microwave because I did let it set 25% of the time and then it was no good. So anyways, so, um, so the stack cooking system is amazing. You can, you can use pieces individually, just make individual recipes. You can take any one of your recipes. The smart steamer, I'll share with you. People go, don't you have a, don't you have like um, a recipe book, like a big recipe book for it? I'm going to share with you. You make any recipe that doesn't have juice in it and you put it in this smart steamer don't worry about special, make your special meatloaf recipe, make your, whatever, your chicken recipe, make, you know, whatever you make, your, you know, your fish or whatever, you put it in there, it is going to taste awesome. So I do want to share that. Are, are there any questions on anything on, on the three main pieces that we have um, that are made for the microwave? The only thing I wanted to share too is the nice, the key thing with Tupperware in the microwave is this summer, a really good selling feature is... <laughs> Who wants to heat their house up when it's 90 degrees in July, when you can make a cake in the microwave in like 10 or 12 minutes? Um, did you guys want to share anything? No? They're like, no? Okay. I'm going to get my eggs ready for a second while it gives you time to chat. So Nikki will look and see if there's any questions. So if you could just keep it to questions, that way she'll be able to see. This full is, uh, yeah. What was that question? Um, oh, it's coconut pecan. Oh. It's coconut pecan frosting. We were we were making a sugar-free chocolate cake instead, and we were making a German chocolate one. So we put coconut pecan frosting that you buy in the can, and we frosted the inside with the cone. However, we realized that the cake mix was super dry, and we put it in, and then realized that I pulled out the brownie mix instead of the cake mix. So we're going to tip it over and see what this brownie recipe looks like. This is interesting. I would not make this at a party. Thank you guys for your, your um, compliments. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to try to do some of this training like every month. I know that we probably don't have a lot of customers on it. Does it, does it look like there's many customers on? No. I think too, honestly, I would probably, if I was you, oh, I'm going to see what she does. But right now too, what I would normally do is send your customers, you know, and you might be forwarding them to, you know, forwarding this to some of your customers that you could go ahead and they can go to your website and place an order. Um, and if you want to click on find a party on your consultant's website, and if you're not real sure, um, you know, make sure you talk to your hostess so you can go there. But um, I thank you for that. That's great. Okay. Any other questions? Okay, we're going to do our eggs then. And I do apologize. This does not look like a cake. But you know what? Um, it's interesting. <laughs> They'll eat it. I bet I know Allison will try it. It smells really good. Okay, so we're going to get the eggs real quick here in case you've never seen this happen. And a really good recipe, if I can just get that Quick Chef Pro back over here, a really great thing to do at your Tupperware parties. And you could do it with your Power Chef because many of you got that in your kit the power chef that you pull the handle and um, what you can do is you can actually make egg salad at your parties and it's so easy because you do your eggs in the smart steamer and then you take about six of them and you you can do 10 eggs for 10 minutes or 12 eggs for 12 minutes 
you cannot do less than 10 eggs for 10 minutes because the steam does not build up enough. So you can't do like six eggs for six minutes because they're not going to be cooked. Um, but you do your eggs, and it's a very inexpensive recipe for your hostess. And then what you do, it's okay, we're not really going to be using this anyways. We're not going to. Well, we could cut up eggs. <laughs> um, what you do is you do your eggs, and then you can put your mustard and some mayo in here and chop up, chop up some onion first. So you chop the onion first because you always chop the hardest thing first. Then you keep gradually add the salt, put your eggs in here, your mustard, um, a little bit of mustard and mayo, salt and pepper. And then if she just has saltine crackers, it is so good. That egg salad is so good on those saltine crackers. Okay, now what we're going to do, in case you've never seen this, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have Allison share why, and I don't have Nikki. I'm, you are going to come over here, Nikki. We're going to have you share why you decided to sell Tupperware. I did ask you that. I did. I'm nervous. Nikki, why don't you come on over? And Allison is single, so in case you know any good-looking guys, they can, hey, she's looking and she's fantastic. I will. I. 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 She has me on her resume. Anyways, don't, I, well, it's okay, Nikki. You. I mean, if you don't tell people, Allison, they might think you're married. Okay. She is so red right now. She's really shy. Okay, well, I'm doing really good with selling Tupperware. I started selling because I love Tupperware, and I am kitchen gadget obsessed. So it's something I believe in, and it's the only thing I would choose to sell. I don't sell. I don't burn candles. I don't wear jewelry. I don't believe in that stuff. So Tupperware is what I believe in, and it's really helping me sell my products. Wow. This is good. Okay, so what we're going to do right now is we are going to go ahead and we're going to show you how these eggs come apart because it's amazing. Because of them being steamed, cooked, the shells come off so easy. And we're going to take, um, I got to find my seal to, to my tougher bowl. We might be using a different one. But what I did is I put the eggs in this bowl. It is actually better if you use a bowl that is more of a V shape that comes down. I do find it works best. And what we're going to do is we're going to use a different tup We're going to use a, another Tupperware bowl. And when you see Stenova, hopefully you're all coming to see Stenova in June, on June 1st. I hope you are. We've got some of our Ohio consultants coming. I am so excited. They're driving from Ohio and they're staying all night. Um, they might be coming for a few days. We're going to put the eggs in there, and then we're going to put some um, cold water on top, Nikki, just uh, not, not enough to actually um, cover them completely, but almost cover them. And then we need a seal, okay? And we're putting the seal on, and this is not shaped in a V form. So, and then what we're going to do, this should be air tight. I'll let you hold this in case I can start. And then all you do is, is it not? Shake it. Like this. You just shake your bowl. Make sure you don't have ice in there because the ice will actually, um, you know, do, take, ice will whatever. And then when you open it up, you can see how, I don't know if you can see, you just see how the peel came right off of these. The peel's off of this one. And it's really neat because you don't have, if you hate peeling eggs, I mean, you might have to pull them off a little bit, but they're amazing. People love this. So you can, you can actually show them how in the Tupperware bowl and that smart steamer, they can do their deviled eggs or make their egg salad in minutes. So um, it's great because who likes to peel eggs? Um, for the, and potato salad. Can you imagine making a nice little bunch of potato salad in here? Cook your potatoes in the microwave, put your some eggs in there onions, green pepper, all that good stuff. Okay, um, any other questions? Because we're going to be signing off in a few minutes, and um, it's 10 minutes for 10 eggs or 12 minutes for 12 eggs in the smart steamer. That's the container that has all the metal on the outside of it. This is completely made out of metal, but it's in capsize, I don't know how to say it, by um, plastic, and um, this was the item that has the holes in the bottom that the steam comes up and then you put those eggs right in here with the cover. And this does have a small tray that fits inside it, but you, if you're ever cooking something and you only need a small tray, you still use the big tray. You have to use the big tray. Don't put the little tray right on the water. You need the big tray, big um, container. Anything else? Okay, I wanna thank you for being on tonight. Can you see who's on right now, Nikki? Because we're... Okay, wait one second here, because we're going to do a quick drawing. Don't, okay, don't come in. I, I'm walking away from them. I'm in my 
little thing here. Um, let's see here. Oh, great. Thank you, Donna. Sorry, you're hearing that. Okay, we're gonna, we are going to um, give you all a number. And so who's, who's the first one on your list there? Brenda's, your last numbers are 47, Brenda. And then who's next? Cheryl's number 46. And next, Katie Boyer's 45. Donna's 44. Donna Shupak 43, and Nikki is 42, and Allison is 41. That's you guys. <laughs> Nikki's looking like, who, who are those people? I don't see them out here. Okay, we're going to do a drawing, and you're going to be so glad you're on tonight because we are going to do a drawing, and somebody is going to win a stack cooking system. Oh, yeah, somebody's going to win. Who is going to win tonight? Okay, here we go. We got all the tickets up here. Okay, I don't remember whose numbers are whose, so this should be interesting. And the winning number, I know it's the last three, is number 47. Who? That's me. Who is it? Brenda. 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 Oh, Brenda. Yay. Awesome. Oh, that's I'm excited. Crazy. Way to go. Well, I want to thank you for being on. We're going to stop the recording now, and you guys have a great night and finish strong.